I'm Andrew Phillips and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a product review on this 24G. This is a high-end wireless Bluetooth microphone. It's just a, I guess a, a no-name brand. I guess the 2.4G is the brand, but you can pick this up on eBay. I'll put the, the price along the bottom, but let's go ahead and get started. On the back of the box, you have all these specs here, which go into detail for the head-mounted transmitter as far as the audio signal, the match style, transmission frequency, voice response, transmission mode, your power supply, consumption, transmission mode, receiving frequency, audio output, and then you also have along the bottom there in more depth the built-in polymer cell for the voice response, and then you have here just some additional notes as well. So this is the box here, no real branding or images on it, very generic, but let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So we have this plastic pouch, we have the instructions here, however, unless you're from the Middle East, uh, this is going to be a little awkward because you're actually opening it in reverse, which is kind of odd. So instead of it going this way, you're opening it this way. And just very basic instructions, um, just... I don't know, just a, almost like a, a Chinese translation into English. It's a little bit choppy, but just the basic instructions on setting it up. So you get that. And then in the Ziploc bag here, we have all of our components. So we have, we have our wireless receiver. You have your USB charging cable. Here you have your wireless mic that clips onto your shirt along with the transmitter. And then you have the different connectors here for whatever device you're using. And I'll get a close-up here, but we have for different jacks because you can use this. They mention at least in here that you can use it for recording music, like on an acoustic instrument. You can use it for, for talking. There's a few different um, methods that you can use this on. You have this connector here, which will go into smartphone or an iPhone, and then it's labeled here for headphones or microphones, so you can put it into the, the microphone jack. Let's open up the charging cable. And you have your USB end here that actually splits into two, so that way you can charge the receiver and the transmitter because they're both they're both uh, rechargeable and Bluetooth devices. For charging, you have a port on the side of the receiver and you also have a port right here on the side of the transmitter. And you'll just come right here, plug in. And this is actually pretty cool. I like this, the way that you can charge both of them together. And then with them both connected, all you'd have to do is then just plug into a USB port and then you can charge both of them. The light will come on red while they're charging, and when they're done charging, the light will go out. So in order to connect this up to a device if you're using a phone, what you want to do is you want to go ahead into the microphone side. You'll take your wireless receiver, connect that, and then at that point, you'll have it basically like this. You're going to have your receiver going into the adapter and then into your phone or whatever device you're going into. Next, what you're going to want to do is you would then set this up by connecting it onto yourself wherever you're going to have it set up and there's an on and off switch on actually both of these on the transmitter and on the receiver. You're going to turn them to the on position and you'll have a blue light that comes on flashing. Once you turn on the other component and they make the connection, then the flashing blue light, as you can see here, the flashing blue light then becomes solid, allowing you to know that both devices are properly connected and then you can start using the microphone.
Now that we have everything connected, receiver and the transmitter have also been linked, we're gonna go ahead and clip this on here. And you can feed the actual cable inside your shirt if you don't want it showing, but I'm gonna go ahead and connect all this. Let's go into the other room and let's try it out and see how it works. So I'm sitting here approximately 15 feet away from the receiver. I have the microphone on. You can see how it sounds with it. Now we're going to take the microphone off and I'm going to do the same thing without it and you can see how the difference is without the microphone. Now I've taken the microphone off. I'm talking at the same volume level of my voice, same distance, and you can see the difference compared with and without the microphone. Definitely a lot lower. So I have the mic connected now. I have the receiver inside of the camera. We have the transmitter in my pocket. Everything is connected. You can hear the sound is nice and loud. It is picking up a little bit of a, the dead background noise, which I'm not too thrilled about, but it's not too bad. So we have that connected. I'm standing about four to five feet away right now from the camera. I'm going to start walking around the room so we can test it as far as for range and clarity as we move around. So as I start walking away from it, you can hear that it's still nice and clear. It's not fading away as it would normally be the case with like a shotgun type microphone. If I turn sideways here, rotating, everything is nice and consistent. At this point right here, I'm approximately 20 feet, 15 to 20 feet from the actual receiver and the camera. Let's head into the other room now. So as I'm walking away here, you can still hear it. And as I stand out here, you can see me here. I'm approximately 30 feet away from the receiver. So now as we come back in, you can see it's consistent. If I open this door here and take a look into this other room here, you can still hear it. I'm going to come over here now and we're going to take a look here at these newspapers and see here and you can still hear it, still hear it. It's nice and loud. And then as I come in closer, you can see it, it remains consistent. You don't have the volume going up and down as is the case sometimes with microphones that are stationary. So you can wear it like I have it here. It clips onto your shirt. I have the cable just hanging here and going into the actual transmitter, which is right here. Um, if you're going to do it, you can run the wire inside your shirt, have this clipped on your belt. That way you can conceal it. Now on the transmitter itself, you have a plus and a minus sign. I'll get a close up. The minus sign lowers the volume of the mic and the plus takes it up. So as we're talking right now, I'm going to start hitting the minus and let's see how low this is going to start to go. You can hear it starting to drop. Fades out. And then now as we are hitting the plus sign, we're getting it to come back up and get the volume back to where it was before and get it nice and loud. So you can see how that works there. So this is pretty much it for this mic right here. Overall, I'm going to say on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll probably give it an 8. I thought that the sound as far as the, the volume and the way that it's capturing is very good. The downside is why I'm not giving it a 10 is the fact that it's also getting a lot of that dead background noise. So if you're not talking at all, like I'm going to do right now, You hear you have that, that kind of that faint static dead sound where with, when you're dealing with a lot of the more higher end microphones, it'll completely cut that noise out completely. It'll be nice and quiet. So scale of 1 to 10, I give it an 8. Highly recommended. You can purchase it online as we talked about at the beginning. If you've got a YouTube channel or some kind of a podcast or something where you need a microphone that needs to be on you, so that way it's a wireless Bluetooth mic like this, I would highly recommend it if you've got a tight budget. Definitely worth it. So... I hope this video helped you out. I hope it was informative. I hope that the content in here answers any questions you have. If not, please feel free to reach out to me with any questions or comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all of the support. So please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.